speaking. This is KMAX News at 10 in high definition. I think that legalizing marijuana is the only smart approach. That's just one more vice, one more avenue for someone to check out. The debate is on across Texas. What would you think about legal marijuana here? Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Brian Mudd. I'm Julie Musgrave. Marijuana is now legal in both Colorado and Washington, of course, but could it also soon follow suit here in Texas? Well, the conversation is beginning. K Max Ann Parker joins us now to explain. Yeah, Julian Bryan, two Texas lawmakers, State, Re State Representative Harold Dutton and Representative Elliot Nashtet, says they will reintroduce the legislation as many times as possible in order to get Texas to adopt marijuana regulations similar to what's already been passed in those other states. And tonight we hear from two different local perspectives. While we would go down that road of legalizing something that Knowingly going into it, it's going to impair people's judgment. Representative Charles Perry tells us he isn't going to budge on his stance. It's very evident that the drug war is failing. A local group Hub City Normal argues that right now regulating it is much safer. We can define who, when, and why they're able to purchase it, how much they're able to purchase, who they can give it to. Further encouraging the idea is President Obama, who made headlines this week when he said he didn't think marijuana is, quote, more dangerous than alcohol. Perry says the biggest issue, legalizing marijuana, is not in compliance with federal law. And when you get those inconsistencies on the local level versus federal level, it creates havoc and chaos. More than 14 million Americans are using pot regularly. All of the proceeds of that are going into funneling black market operations. Colorado and Washington are proving to us right now that if we tax it and regulate it, we can do smart things with the proceeds of those sales. Experts say it could take anywhere from 10 to 15 years to get a law going here in Texas. I think it's closer to 15 or 20. I think, I think as these social experiments go on throughout the country, we're going to recognize the faults of doing it. Hub City Normal says legalizing marijuana doesn't have to mean its use is encouraged. It means that the people that choose to don't have to face handcuffs as a result of making that choice. You just kind of got to weigh the the benefits and the cost on this one, and there are any benefits, I can't think of any benefits that would, would make that make sense. Now, a recent poll by the Marijuana Policy Project shows that 58% of Texans support legalizing marijuana for adults along with taxing and regulating it just like alcohol. 61% support reducing the possession of small amounts to a civil penalty, which makes it more like a traffic ticket. But one thing is for sure, we can expect this to come up in the next legislative session. Julie? Thank you, Ann. Folks may have seen the heavy smoke coming.